Hi, my name is Lester Yoshida, Senior Vice President within Parsons Transportation Group. One of the most exciting things that are happening in our lives right now are autonomous vehicles, self-driving cars, if you will. We're doing the same thing at Parsons for positive train control as well as for transit vehicles. What does that mean? As experts in driving, that's what we all assume we are, we know what the traffic signal ahead means to us, if it's red or it's green or it's yellow. We know what the speed limit is. We know how to take a turn. We know what the red light means when we take a right turn or a left turn. We know where all the other cars are. We're fully situationally aware of what is going on. At Parsons, we do the same thing for positive train control and transit vehicles. Our trains know where the curves are, what the speed limit is, where we should be braking. They know where all the other trains are. They know that the sig what the signals are, what the situations are constantly, and we monitor that. So if there's an engineer on the train, if they are distracted for any reason, we will take over that control to increase the safety of that train. We also do something very similar for transit. There we do something called communications-based train control, which is a little different than for rail transit. Right now, our infrastructure is limited by a number of rails that we can create. We can't increase the number of rails. We can't increase the length of a platform. So we're very limited by the number of cars we have. So how do we increase capacity of our transit system? Well, we have to have the trains run closer together. So just as on a freeway, cars get closer together, we can carry more people per lane mile of highway. We do the same thing with transit. We control their safety, we control their speed, we control the distance between the trains, but we increase the capacity because we can be closer and closer together on these transit trains. So now, as opposed to waiting 10 minutes on a platform for the next train, maybe we'll be waiting eight minutes or seven minutes. They're much closer together to increase the capacity. So at Parsons, by bringing technology to trains and transit, we are providing a safer commute for the traveling public.